Praise God. Praise God. Hello, everybody. It's been a minute. Um, Y'all know I only come on here to give inspirational word, encouraging word, scripture, word from God. Um, I come to evangelize his word, to give a prophetic word from him. I let him speak through me. I ask him to decrease me and increase him in me all the time. But I'm glad I'm back because I love sharing the word with God, with other people. You know, letting them know how good God is because he's good all the time. Even when it's, even when we're going through, he's still good. Even in our trials and tribulations, he's still good. And I just thank him when I bless his holy name. Y'all, I have a prayer and I, I, I wrote it down this time because I didn't want to leave nothing out because we need to pray. It's time for prayer. So I didn't want to leave out nothing because I always get off, off of making these videos and I'd be like, oh, Lord Jesus, I forgot to pray this. But God quickened my spirit. So I put it on my tablet this time, y'all. <laughs> All right. Praise God. Praise God. So, Father, I thank you, Lord Jesus, for blessing us to see another day. I thank you for giving your only son, Jesus Christ, who had no sin, but died for our sins. I thank you, Jesus, for your death, your burial, and your resurrection. Father, I pray that you would decrease me, Lord Jesus, Increase you in me. Speak through me, Father. In Jesus' name, with your powerful anointing attached to every word, every word, Father, that comes out of my mouth. I pray that you will be in this atmosphere, Lord Jesus. That you will be in this atmosphere. Jesus, give your people an ear to hear, Father, and a heart to receive every word that I pray, Father. I pray that this word falls on good ground in Jesus' name, Father. I pray and bind in Jesus' name, Lord. Racial injustice, hatred, jealousy, wickedness in this earth, Lord Jesus. I rebuke it and bind it in Jesus' name. I rebuke and bind the spirit of witchcraft and the Antichrist spirit. I rebuke and bind the spirit of divination, Father. The spirit of Python and Delphi. If y'all look at Acts 16 chapter, 16 verse through 18. You can read about it. The spirit of divination. Yeah, Python of Delphi. Hmm. I rebuke that in Jesus' name and I bind it up. I rebuke and bind it and break the head off of it in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Woo. I rebuke and bind bullets. Bullies, people that's bullying others. The spirit of suicide and depression. I rebuke the coronavirus. I rebuke and bind it in Jesus' name, Father, because you said whatever. Whatever we bind on earth, you are binding heaven, Father. And whatever we loose on earth, you are loose in heaven. I receive that, Father. So I loose your healing, your love, help, joy, peace, happiness, prosperity, Father. Oh, Father, the overflow that we walk in the overflow. Whatever our hands touch, feet tread upon, and mind think it, Father, that it prosper in your name, Jesus. I thank you Ooh, for quickening my spirit, Father. I thank you for that. Oh, yes, Lord. Father, I pray over all authority. In Jesus' name, over police killing people, Father, over people killing police, over people that are jobless, people who are homeless, Lord, Father. I pray, Father, over our sons and our daughters. I pray that they are humble. They humble themselves, Lord, that you just that they just let you increase them, Father, and increase and decrease them, Father. That they just let you increase you in them and decrease them, Father. I pray over sexually abused survivors, Lord Jesus. Please heal them, Father in every area of their lives. Father, I pray over our nation, over the sick, the shut in, and the incarcerated, Lord Jesus. Father, I pray that your will be done. Father, please put your hedge of protection around us, Lord Jesus, a double portion. And let your angels encamp around us, Father, a double portion, in Jesus' name. Father, I just thank you for this beautiful day, for your death, your burial, and your resurrection, all the lashes and, that you got on your back. I thank you for the healing power that's in your blood that you shed for our sins and in your body that you broke for our sins. And Jesus, I thank you and I just bless your holy name. Father, whatever I forgot to say, I just thank you for your anointing, Father, that you know what I'm asking, what I need and what I want to say before I even think of it. Because you knew me before you formed me in the womb of my mother. And I just thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I pray for all, everybody, Father, over our jobs, that you bless us, Father. Even people that don't have jobs, Father, quicken their spirit, let them know what they need to do, Father, so they can just start having income coming in on their own. With you, 
Be ahead of it, Father. You'll be ahead of it, Lord Jesus. I thank you. Father, I thank you, Father, for blessing us all, Father. Father, y'all pay your tithes and your offerings. Whatever you have, just give. Give some to God, that first fruit, and he'll bless you with more. Whatever that first part is, don't get out of it yet. Give his first. In Jesus' name, I thank you. Father, for you are worthy to be praised. Y'all, I thank God. I love him. He's awesome. He's amazing. He's everything that I need. Praise God. So, y'all, I'm just here. The Lord blessed me to see a new one. And I thank him. He quickened my spirit because I pray and ask him all the time to use me. Speak through me, Father. Speak through me in dreams and visions so I can speak to your people. And he do. And I thank him for it. I, I, I be shamed, you know, embarrassed sometimes coming on here. Because, you know, I'm on the camera. But I thank God that he chose me, that he chose me to speak through me, to give his word to his people. So, y'all, I had a dream. Yeah. On the 20th, September 20th. I woke up from this dream at 5 o'clock a.m. 5 o'clock a.m. In this dream, y'all, I was in a vehicle. I don't know it was a big vehicle because I was walking up and down the aisles and I had a container. I don't know if it was a container or a book, but it was big and it had secret sections in it. And in the sections I had Oreo cookies. <laughs> I had some Oreo cookies in it, you know. The Oreo cookies, you know, they're black and white. And then they're three sections. It's like the the cookie, cookie on both sides, and then the cream in the middle. Black and white. But that's my dream right here. So in that dream, there were three people in the dream. And the three people that I let put their hand in the secret sections. In that secret section to get some cookies. One of the people, I don't know if it was a he or a she, because I couldn't see if it was a he or a she. I don't remember. I couldn't see the face in the dream. I couldn't even see the body. But I could, I could, it was, it was people. You know, you could see they, if you're in the, if you're in the word of God and you're in the spirit, you know what I mean? Like in the spirit, you could feel their spirit. You could feel their presence. And they were there. And that person Stuck their hand in the compartment of the big book or the big container, whatever it was I had. They stuck their hand in the compartment to get some cookies out. And that person asked, could they have three cookies? And so I said, I said, you can have four if you want. You can have four if you want, <laughs> you know? So I went back. Both of them got their cookies. I went back to the, um, you know, to the front to sit down. And then one of the people was walking from the front and they were passing me, going towards the back. So when I turned around and followed that person, I noticed that they didn't have on a shirt. They didn't have on a shirt. So anyway, I let them stick their hand in a compartment, a little secret compartment of the big book or the big container, whatever it was, to get some cookies. And then I woke up at 5 o'clock a.m. And I was like, Lord Jesus, what is this? I need you to tell me what this is. Because I always pray, if, if the dream is not from you, Lord, and you don't want me to get this dream, don't let me remember it. If it's not from you, don't let me remember that dream. If it's from you, Father, let me remember it. And when he do let me remember, y'all, I roll over. I grab my, my um, prayer, my little um, dream journal, and I write in it. I write what God told me, what, what the dream was. I write it. And then I pray. Later on, you know, when I get up, I pray. And I say, Father, tell me what that meant. You need to show me, Lord. Because I don't know what this is. This is crazy to me. Because the way God do stuff is different from the way we do stuff. The way he tell us, he tell us in, in pieces. When you prophetic and you got that gift that God blessed you with. Because he blessed you with the gift of prophecy. And, and he blessed me with the gift to, to just receive dreams and visions and um, so I can share with people. 
and warn people. Because these dreams and visions are warnings. These are warnings. You know? I always pray. And I say, Lord, tell me what to say. What this is. What is this? I need to know. I need to know, Daddy. You need to tell me so I can tell these people. You got to speak to me because I need to know. I need you to decrease me and increase you in me. So I can receive what you're telling me, Father. So God told me this. The dream that I had was September 20th, 2020. Okay? And the biblical meaning for the 20th is redemption. Yeah. 20 equals redemption and expectancy. Now remember, it was September 20, 2020. Okay? So that's 20 plus 20 plus 20. Which equals 60. 60, the biblical meaning for 60 equals pride. Pride. Praise God. Okay. 20. 20. September 2020. That's 20 plus 20 equals 40. The biblical meaning for 40 is trial, testing, Tribulation. Ooh, y'all, I'm getting chills right now. God, ooh, thank you, Jesus. Praise God. I couldn't come up with this. I can't come up with nothing like this. This is from God. Y'all, y'all got to take heed. This is from the Lord Jesus Christ. He quickened my spirit with this. And then he told me, he broke it down and showed me what it was after I asked him. 20 plus 20 equals 40, y'all. The biblical meaning for 40 is trial testing, and tribulation. Okay, y'all, the three people in the in my dream, the three people, the biblical meaning for number three is Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Y'all know three is Trinity. It's the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, resurrection, divine completeness, I mean divine completeness, Perfection and Godhead. Praise God. That's three. <laughs> three, y'all. That's the three people in the dream. Mm. The one person that I told could have four cookies was the second person in my dream. And y'all know four, the biblical meaning for four is creation and world. Creation and world. Remember, the second person was the person that asked for the four cookies. The second person in the dream. And two is union, division, witnessing. Okay? Union, division, witnessing. And at 5 a.m., y'all, that's when I woke up from the dream. Five, the biblical meaning for five is grace. Grace. Wow. God is something. So, y'all, this is what God gave me. All of that, all of them numbers, all of that biblical meaning. This is what he was saying. He said, there is too much pride, too much pride. Y'all remember I said, where is it? I said, um, pride, 60 equals pride. Remember 20 plus 20 plus 20 equals 60 and 60 equals pride. Yeah, September 20th, 2020. He said there is too much pride and division in the world. Yeah, too much pride and division. Remember I said two. The second person in the dream, union, division, witnessing. He said there's too much pride and division in the world. Not enough witnessing and union. See, union and witnessing, that's number two. The second person in the dream, Union, division, witnessing. He said there's too much pride in the world and division in the world. 
not enough witnessing and union. We need to repent and seek salvation. We should have expectancy, hoping for something great from the Lord to happen. The creator of the world, y'all, the creation of the world, the creator of the world is Jesus Christ and he is close at hand. He is close at hand, y'all. He'll be return, returning soon. Sooner than we sooner than we think, y'all. So we all have been saved by grace. Praise God. We will go through trial, testing, and tribulation. Ain't that something, y'all? He's close at hand. We will go through trial, testing, and tribulation. But the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit will be there with us. He'll see us through it. He'll walk us through it. He'll carry us through it. Because we're going to get weak. We're going to get weak. We're going to want to give up. We're going to say, Lord, I wasn't going through all of this when I was walking with, with the world. When I was doing what the world was doing. I wasn't going through all of this, Father, until I started trying to walk Christ-like. Until I want to follow you. You know? But like he said, we will go through the trial testing and tribulation that's what he said that's his word you know but we should have hope expecting something great and i have hope because i already know if i run the good race if i run this race and finish the good fight i'm gonna see god and i'll be able to see him face to face and thank him for what he done how he saved me how he delivered me how he kept me how he forgave me how he gave me grace. How his mercy and grace was just flooding me. Even when I didn't deserve it. I'm going to be able to thank him when I see him. So I have hope. And I have expectancy. Hoping for something great from the Lord. Y'all have that too. Y'all need to have that too. I want to read this again. What his word, what he said, what he said to me. That's, oh, Ooh, thank you, Jesus. He said, there is too much pride and division in this world. Not enough witnessing and union. We need to repent and seek salvation. We should have expectancy, hoping for something great from the Lord to happen. The creator of the world is close at hand, who is Jesus Christ. He will be returning soon, y'all. He will be returning soon. We all have been saved by grace. We will go through trial, testing, and tribulation. But the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit will be there with us to see us through it. Ain't that something? Praise the Lord. So, y'all, we are saved by God's grace, y'all. Ephesians, I, I have it written down. Ephesians, second chapter, eight verse says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. Of is this gift of God. We are not saved of ourselves, y'all. We are saved by grace. Through faith. And that not of ourselves. But from the gift of God. That's Ephesians 2nd chapter. 8 verse. And right here. Y'all we know the Lord is near. Y'all know that. Y'all can feel it. Y'all can see it. Everything that's going on. Wars. Rumors of wars. Um, Same sex. Marriages. Um, Antichrist spirits. Spirit of Python, wickedness, all of this stuff, all this violence, people killing each other. We can see it. Y'all, Ephesians, second chapter, eight verse. That's speaking on redemption. For we must, we are saved by grace, by the grace of God, you know? Through faith. So you gotta have faith, even if it's small as a mustard seed. And right here, Philippians 4th chapter, y'all, 4th verse, we got to rejoice. Rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. 
Philippians 4th chapter, 4th verse. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Right here, y'all. Don't be anxious for nothing. Philippians 4th chapter, 6th verse. 4th chapter, 6th verse. It says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. In the seventh verse, and the God of peace, who surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Yeah, y'all. So God gave me this word and I asked him, Lord, you got to tell me what it is, what you're trying to say. Because he don't speak directly, you know. At least to me, he don't just speak like directly. He 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 put it out, and then he had me go get it. He make me he like break it down and make, make me take my time and and get it, so I could have it stuck in my spirit. Cause I had to work for it, you know. I had to work for it. I had to get it. I had to study to show myself approval of God, and I thank him because it quickens my spirit. And when I need to stand on something strong. When something coming against me or someone coming against me and something just not working right and I feel like giving up and just saying, Lord, it's too much. That word fan, that flame of fire within my spirit so I can stand on it, so I can have something strong to stand on. That word is strong. That's my sword. I thank God. I thank him. But y'all, don't just believe me. Don't believe nobody, no prophet, evangelist, preacher, minister. No man. I say man, I speak, I speak into the world. Man, woman, you know. You can't believe everybody. Because they got, like I said, like I said, when I said that prayer, they got that spirit. Um, you know, that witchcraft and all of that. That, um, that witchcraft, the wickedness that rules earth, you know, the evilness, the spirit of the Antichrist, you know, that um divination, that spirit of Python, the Delphi, Delphi, um, that spirit. It could it could like tell your fortunes, tell your future. But we don't know that. God don't show us that. He don't tell us our future. That's the spirit. That's spiritual witchcraft. Divination. The Python, Delphi, Antichrist. Like sorcery. Y'all read Acts 16 chapter. 16 through 18 verse. So y'all can read about what I'm talking about. Like soothsayers. I rebuke that and bind that and break that head off of that Python in Jesus' name. I rebuke and bind them in Jesus' name and break the head off that python. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Every tongue that rises against me, God will condemn. Praise God. I believe in this word. It don't never return back void. Yeah. So that was my dream, y'all. So y'all, test the spirit. Like I said, John, first chapter, fourth verse. Y'all have the proud salvation. For anybody who need the prayer, you need it. So I'm going to say, Dear Lord Jesus, I ask that you forgive me for my sins. I believe you died for me and you rose for me from the dead. Father, I turn from my sins and from my wicked ways. I invite you to come into my heart and to my life. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. If y'all said that prayer, y'all, you have just said the prayer of salvation. And if you can find a church, pray and ask God to guide you if you don't have a church. To guide you to the right church. Where the, his anointing is there. Where his anointing is in the atmosphere. So you can get water baptized. Don't baptize yourself at home in a bathtub. Go to a church where people have been prayed up and got the word of God in them. And that word, the anointing of the Lord Jesus Christ in them. So they can water baptize you. And they can guide you and help you. And show you which way to go with the word. You know, directly to the word. Word that you need to study to get it in your spirit. 
so you can fight some of that stuff down yourself with God's word. Y'all, you can read Romans 10th chapter 13 verse. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Romans 10th chapter 13 verse. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Praise God. I thank God. I love him. And I bless his holy name. For he is worthy to be praised. He's omnipotent. I'm the present. I'm missing. He's El Shaddai. More than enough. Jehovah right here. The Lord the hill is thee. He's the first, the last, everything. Alpha and Omega, beginning to ending. God is coming back, y'all. He's coming back soon. Jesus is coming back. I want to be right and ready for him. You know? I'm going through something right now. I'm trying to make a decision. Because God told me something. I asked for him. I prayed it. I asked him in a dream. Yeah. I asked him in a dream. I, I mean, I asked him to give me a dream about this. And y'all, I prayed it, and he gave me the dream the next day. I haven't shared that dream with y'all yet. Because I'm still trying to work out something. But I'm going to share it when God tell me to. When he tell me it's time. But I ask y'all, I want to thank y'all. And I pray that y'all just keep us in his will. God, keep us in his will. But I want to pray again. Father, I just thank you. And I pray, Father, again, Father, this prayer. I thank you for blessing us to see another day, Lord. I thank you for giving your only son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for our sins, Father. He had no sin, but he died for our sins. Lord Jesus, I thank you for your death, your burial, and your resurrection. I thank you, Father, for you are worthy to be praised. Father, decrease me and increase you in me, Father. Your anointing, let your anointing be in this atmosphere, Father. Speak through me, Father, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, Father, with your power, your anointing attached to every word that comes out of my mouth, Father. I pray that you will be in this atmosphere, Father. I pray in Jesus' name, Father, that you give your people an ear to hear, Lord Jesus, and a heart to receive every word that comes out of my mouth. I pray, Father, that this word falls on good ground in Jesus' name, Father, and I pray and I bind up everything in Jesus' name, like um, racial injustice, hatred, jealousy, wickedness in this earth. I rebuke and bind that spirit in Jesus' name, the spirit of witchcraft, antichrist spirit, Father. I rebuke and bind the spirit of divination, Father, the spirit of Python, Delphi. Um, that you said that was right there in Acts, Father. Acts 16, chapter 16 through 18, verse. Father, I rebuke and bind it in Jesus' name, and I break the head off of that python, Lord Jesus. Father, I thank you, and I rebuke and bind bullies, people that's bullying people, Father, the spirit of suicide, depression, coronavirus. I rebuke and bind it in Jesus' name, Father. You said that your word, that whatever we bind on earth, you bind in heaven, Lord Jesus, Father. And whatever we loose on earth, you loose in heaven, Father, Lord Jesus. And I loose healing, love, love, Father. Happiness, joy, peace prosperity father in jesus name father i pray for all authority people that's killing police police that's killing people father people that are jobless homeless father i pray over them father lord i pray father for our sons and our daughters lord jesus father i pray that you humble that you humble them father that they humble themselves father and let you increase in them father and decrease them father i pray over people that sexually abuse father the sexually abused survivors father i pray for them father heal them lord jesus in every area of their life I pray of our nation, the sick, shut in, and incarcerated, Father, that your will be done, Lord Jesus. I pray of our president, Father, our rebuke and bind the spirit that he has, Father, that's not that's not for the people, Father. I pray that you just decrease him and increase you in him, Lord Jesus. Guide him, direct him. Father, I just pray, Father, that you put a hedge of, protect, a hedge of protection, Father, around us, Father, that your angels and camp around us with a portion in Jesus' name. And I thank you. And I bless your holy name, Father. Y'all, I would ask that you just watch if you're watching my YouTube, please click like, share, and subscribe. And I thank you. Many blessings to you and your family. Bye-bye.